Okay, good morning. Um, so we're at Bickerton again today, and I just wanted to mention these little buggers here. Uh, this is Japanese knotweed in its earliest form. If you look around the other sort of flora in the area, it's very, very distinctive. It doesn't, doesn't look like anything else, so it really stands out. So once you've seen it, you know what you're looking for. So you've got these heart-shaped to spearhead or arrowhead-shaped leaves, uh, and as the plant begins to mature, the leaves become a lot darker or greener, uh, much wider, and you'll notice it's got a sort of blood red vein that goes right through it there. Now at this stage, there's not a lot you can do. Uh, it, if I was to snap a piece of this off and leave it on the side, uh, it can grow and produce a whole new plant. It's a very deadly species. Um, it can basically break through concrete, car parks. Uh, it, is, it is sort of illegal so if you see one you need to notify the council or notify the owner of the land uh, before it spreads a lot further because it is it, it just destroys the land so obviously at this moment in time we can't do anything uh, come the end of late summer and uh, autumn when the plant is a much mature specimen what they'll do is they'll inject uh, glyphosate into the stem uh, so this, the reason why they do it at the end of the season it's when all of the nutrients are being pulled back into the roots this is the best time to attack the plant. Uh, at the moment, apart from digging out the whole land and burning it all, this is the only sort of method that is around. Now, if you actually look around where we're filming, this is what you would call a typical fly tip or a dump site next to a car park. So next time you're having a think and you want to dump some of your remains, try not to do it on a triple SI site. Uh, now the National Trust, at their expense, are gonna to have to get the chemicals the manpower and the hours to now completely remove it all from this site. It has spread, it was here last year, it's clearly not been effective so another treatment will need to be done. So yeah, so if you see this, keep it in mind and you need to uh, notify the council or your local authority. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something about Japanese knotweed.